You've brought a lawsuit against your careless doctor believing that he caused you significant harm and injury. And now your case goes all the way to trial. At trial, when your attorney calls your medical expert to come and testify, he's nowhere to be found. He doesn't show up. How long is the judge going to sit around and wait for your medical expert to show up to testify? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. So now you're at trial. It's been two long years. Everything is complicated. Everything is fought over. Nothing is easy for you in your case. You claim that your doctor was careless and you believe that his carelessness was a cause of your significant injury. And you have a qualified board certified medical expert who confirms each one of your claims. And now your attorney has spoken with your expert previously. He's prepared him for trial. And now the big moment comes. Your expert is called up to the witness stand. The judge asks your attorney, okay, counselor, who's your next witness? Your honor, at this time, I call Dr. Gold to the witness stand. And he looks around, Dr. Gold isn't there. He's like, judge, can I go out and make a call? Your attorney goes into the hallway and frantically makes a phone call to Dr. Gold. He can't reach him, it goes right to voicemail. And now he's waiting and waiting in the hallway. A few minutes later, the court officer comes out into the hallway to find your attorney and says, hey, counsel, what's going on? The judge is waiting for you. The jury's in the jury box waiting for you. What's happening? And now your attorney says, listen, I don't know where he is. I can't reach him. I sent him a text. He's not responding. I left him a voicemail. He's not responding. So now, how long is the judge going to sit around and wait for this witness to come in? So here's what's going to happen. The court officer will report back to the judge. Your attorney is going to wait in the hallway for a few more minutes to see if possibly your expert shows up. What happens if he doesn't show up at all? Your attorney will then return back into courtroom and ask to speak to the judge privately. The defense attorney has to come up and listen to this conversation. So now, your attorney has to tell the judge, Judge, this expert was scheduled to come in. I confirmed this last night. I spoke to him last night. He promised to be here. I'm going to try calling his office now. I tried him on his cell. So the judge will likely give the attorney a few minutes to try and reach the doctor from his office. So now let's say your attorney goes out calls the doctor's office, they say, we have no idea where he is, it's his day off today. And now the attorney is stuck. What happens next? Well, your lawyer has to go back and report to the judge. Said, judge, I'm at a loss. My expert is supposed to be here. Maybe he's stuck in traffic. Maybe something else happened. And now you are sitting in the back of the courtroom wondering, maybe, just maybe, the defense lawyer or the doctor whom you sued somehow got to your medical expert and convinced him not to testify in your case. Is that possible? Can that happen? Can the defense attorney or the doctor whom you have sued try and reach out to your medical expert to convince him not to testify in your particular case? The answer is maybe yes and maybe no. Being able to prove that will be extremely difficult assuming that's exactly what happened. However, there could be a more innocuous reason why the doctor is not in court yet. His car may have broken down. He might have gotten into an accident. Maybe he was pulled over. Maybe he's stuck in massive traffic. There could be many, many reasons that might explain why he's not in court when he's scheduled to be there. On the other hand, there may be an instance where not necessarily the attorney, the defense attorney, and not necessarily the doctor whom you have sued, but maybe a representative from one of those people, or maybe another colleague of the doctor whom you have sued reached out to our medical expert and gently and subtly suggested to him that his career may take a very strange path should he decide to come and testify in your case against this doctor. Stranger things have happened. But again, being able to actually prove that will be extremely difficult. And just arguing or assuming that that's what's occurring is not sufficient and won't help you and your case. So now, what's the judge going to do? Well, the judge likely is going to give your attorney a little bit of time. In all likelihood, he's going to send the jury back to the jury room so that nobody's sitting around in the courtroom waiting around for the expert to show up. And now the judge will likely tell the attorney to go out and make some calls to see if he can reach the doctor. And he'll give him a little bit of leeway. But there will reach a point during the afternoon or during the morning where the judge will say, listen, if you can't get this expert in, 
I have very limited options here. I may allow you to go ahead and bring him in tomorrow morning or I may have no choice. But if you can't bring in any other medical expert right now and you have no other witnesses, I have no choice but to dismiss your case. And you're sitting in the back of the courtroom listening to this and you're saying, how could that be? How could the judge dismiss your case if your expert isn't testifying? In New York, we are required to have a medical expert testify on your behalf. If we can't bring in a medical expert to testify, now you have not satisfied the requirements to put this in front of a jury so that now they can decide whether your doctor whom you sued was careless and whether his carelessness was a cause of your injury and whether your injuries are significant or permanent. It will never even get to the jury if your expert fails to come in to testify. So let's get back to the original question I asked at the beginning of this video. How long is the judge going to sit around and wait if your medical expert fails to show up? The answer is he's going to give your attorney a little bit of leeway. But there will come a point in time during that morning or that afternoon where the judge will have to say, listen, what are you doing? Where is your expert? Give me an answer. I need an answer. I need to know what to do next. And if he can't give him a good valid answer, the judge may say, listen, you've got to call your next witness. If you don't have any other witnesses, I may have no choice but to throw your case out. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to give you an inside look at what happens in these civil trials involving medical malpractice and wrongful death and accident cases here in New York. You know, I understand and I recognize you're watching this video because you likely have questions of your own. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but have not done so yet because you still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.